Sure, my name is Scott Merrick. I'm a New Hampshire State Representative. I'm also an Assistant Majority Floor Leader, and this is my third term. I think Innovation Generation brings together both policymakers, yes. bloggers, uh, people who are experts in the field of telecommunications and broadband, basically bringing all the people who should be involved in either crafting policy um, or leading the way into the future in terms of what we're going to do with this technology and with broadband. Uh, you know, a conference like this brings together all of these players and through brainstorming, through conversations, discussions, we're able to really craft a kind of a national, um, uh, a national agenda, if you will, for how we want to proceed, uh, as well as looking at what we can do on the state and local level for uh, telecommunications and broadband and technology. And I think something like this needs to happen with this kind of technology and with the opportunities that are going to be presented. We really need to make sure that we're sharing these ideas and moving forward in a way that's uh, combining both policy and the technology. Um, I think that technology, from my standpoint, can really provide opportunities for education, for health care. Uh, I chair a task force in New Hampshire looking to bring uh, laptops to every student in the state. And I think that since we do live in the 21st century, in a, in a century that depends on technology, we must be educating our students with this technology and how to use it because when they get out of school, whether they go to college or they go into the workforce, they're going to need to know how to use technology, whether it be the internet or just a computer, any kind of simple computer program, they're going to need to know how to do this. And so I think it really provides a lot of opportunities for education, for healthcare, to save money uh, with health information technology. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of money, I think, especially with what President Obama is thinking. We're going to be spending a lot of money to invest in healthcare. Uh, and healthcare records uh, and being able to share uh, certain health information over the internet um, and I think it really is going to provide a lot of opportunities to save money. Okay. Um, what's one thing that thus far in the conference you've learned that maybe you are going to take back to, uh, to, to New Hampshire? Hmm. I think one of the things that was really uh, interesting to, to, to learn today was that we aren't where we thought we were. And, and by that I mean we need to come together better as policymakers and as folks who are leading the, the technology and broadband efforts and really ramp up our efforts because we're moving at such a fast pace we are we're having a hard time keeping up and being where we should be. And I think that we need to do a better job of getting there. And whether that requires hard work or probably money uh, I think it's we're gonna, going to require all of that, and we just need to get there. Yeah, no, I, I'm from rural New Hampshire, and I think we need broadband in all of rural America because we are seeing challenges, especially with tough economic times, where we're just trying to sustain, let alone try to grow uh, our economic base. And it's extremely hard without broadband and without the technology that's available to every other small business throughout the country. And so I think looking at a lot of the challenges, we need to focus on rural America and what broadband could do for rural America.